network time protocol is a great little protocol that allows us to worry about other things in our network besides the clock. There are a few added things I'd want you to know about NTP, just making sure you know it. NTP is UDP based, user datagram protocol, and the port, the port is a port that I would want you to remember just any time you, you're learning about NTP, it's good to know that it's 123. And I have a way to remember this. It's like you look at a clock and you think about the first three, uh, the first three numbers on it. It's one, two, three. It's that progression. That's how I remember it. And I would want you to remember it as well. It's good to know how to allow this protocol through access control list and you would reference it by a permit statement for UDP equal to port 123. Now NTP sources can get their time from an atomic clock, GPS, some accurate time source, a pulsar, but we're saying that there are entities out there that can have hyper accurate time. And then we disseminate that information, that time information, to other devices. And we can have a trickle-down system where there's an architecture to some devices being closer in proximity to the more trustworthy time sources. And then our internal devices don't point to the outside. The internal devices point to the first devices in our network that got the time. And that's a potential scheme that you can deploy. Have you ever been driving through uh, an area where there's a cutout of the side of the, the um, like a mountain, and you see the different layers of of substrate, you see different mineral deposits, different colors, and there's layers of it. Well, we call those strata. They're different layers, and with NTP, we also have layered systems. Stratum same term of layers is about how many hops away you are from the time source. And this is a way of instilling a level of trustworthiness to a time source. It's almost like administrative distance. You know how administrative distance, you can have lower values be more trustworthy, EIGRP is more trustworthy than RIP, because it has a lower value. Well, this stratum level system works like a hop count system. So in this case, it looks like we have stratum one. Now we wouldn't build, we wouldn't want to build stratum one, two, or three inside of us and say, hey, I have a really accurate time source. We want to start off no lower than five. That's just a good rule of thumb. If you are building your own time source, it's not going to be an atomic clock. Now, if it is, then you're going to override my recommendation. But generally, it isn't, right? Generally, it isn't. The values are 1 through 16. Lower is more trustworthy, meaning we're fewer hops from the time source. And uh, stratum level 1, for instance, would be associated with things like GPS.